once asked this Dutch lady what was her favourite ski slope in the entire Dolomite super ski system, and she said to me, the fairy tale run. I said, fairy tale run? Where is that? She said, uh, it's the long one down into Ortiz in the Val Gardena. I said, oh, you mean La Longe? I said, well, why do you call it the fairy tale run? And I have to say, she probably gave me the best answer to this question I've ever had. She said, well, because it's got everything any skier could ever wish for. Fairy tale run. Here it is. It's called La Longe. It's got about 1,300 metres vertical uh, drop. Starts at 2,500 metres um, above Santa Cristina Ortizé. And it really is a wonderful intermediate run. There are no surprises, no sharp corners, no sort of really steep drops, and more or less all the time you can see the piece sort of right in front of you. So here we go, following Louise all the way down, and uh, we'll take you through the key points of La Longe, or the fairy tale run. <laughs> We're into the first face here, nice and wide, above the tree line, and some fantastic views. You look to the top left hand side there, you can see the Sella Gruppo, around which you do the Sella Ronda. And the peak that's straight ahead of us is called the Sassolungo. You could dive left and head down to Santa Cristina, but we're going to continue right on the La Longe. Head down to Ortiz A. Little track joining up two of the main faces, still above the tree line. Far distance there, off to the left, you can just see Alpa di Susi glinting away. About to drop in on the left hand side, second face. Now quite often if you ski this later on in the day you'll find that the left hand side is better to ski than the right hand side, right hand side tends to get cut up quite a bit. Restaurant coming up on the right hand side is Baita Corona. I'll put some information in the link uh, in the information below. Great little restaurant, and I say little, it is little. Watch for the change of light here, and there's a, quite a sharp right hand turn. Skiing this later on in the day, it's a home run down into Water's A and it can get skied out in the middle uh, quite, uh, quite a bit. But do watch just here for little stones, sometimes fall off the cliff face you can see on the right hand side. Entering the tree line proper now. Oh, 
Always good light on La Longa. It is more or less south facing, so you've got the sun all day long. It doesn't suffer too much for that. A couple of areas that can get a bit softer than others, but overall, always in good condition. taken at quite some speed here again nice and wide nothing to worry about nothing to get in the way you see the cable car going up to the top station there speed here there's a little bit of a rise in a few hundred meters so just make sure you've got enough speed to get over that rise round about halfway the mid station on the right hand side. Beast narrows up a little bit here and we drop into a gully. Quite unusual as you can see the uh, cliff face on the left hand side and you'll see the frozen waterfall coming up on, uh, on the left in a second or two. And then the piece really does narrow down, you've got some really quite sharp bends, you've got to be uh, a little on your edges here. It's like skiing on a riverbed. left hand corner here a little bit of a road crossing not that you'd notice and the restaurant on the left there is Costa Muller great restaurant a little bit of a face here Immediate phase just round this corner. This is it. He's doing a few more turns. There's a variant just coming out on the right hand side there that you can take to avoid that face if you really wish. And then take as much speed around this right hander as you can because after that it's reasonably flat. So carry a little bit of speed off the off this slope here. to Café Valdana and Natal. Great restaurant, some wonderful food in there. Carry speed here, quite important because there's a little bit of a rise just around the corner. There's a road crossing just coming up, just here. So make sure you carry the speed just to carry this rise. I see Matteo and Ellie catching his tip. <laughs> a kilometre and a half from the end and in towards his end. 
There you go then, uh, 1300 meters vertical, 10 and a half kilometer long piste. Whether you want to call it the fairy tale or La Lunge, I'll leave that entirely up to you, but certainly one of the great pieces of the Dolomites and one of our uh, very favorite, uh, very favorite. Ones.